Welcome back recruits. In today's video, we'll be showing you some of the basics of the equipment provided to you by Ghostbusters Incorporated, all rights reserved. But before we do, make sure that you have gone back and watched tape zero of our training series. If not, please alert your supervisor. With that said, let's begin. What's wrong, Greg? I'm having issues. I can't seem to capture the ghost consistently. Well, have you been using your secondary gadgets to help you? Secondary gadgets? What are those? I'm glad you asked. In today's video, I'll be showing you the ins and outs of the secondary gadgets provided to you. In this video, we'll cover the VAD, ionizer pods, radar puck, and the ecto goggles. You can choose which secondary gadget you want to start with at the workbench in the firehouse. Remember that some gadgets are locked behind A level requirement, so don't feel bad if you have to obtain a little bit more experience before unlocking more gadget options. The secondary gadget is displayed in the lower right hand corner above your trap status display. It will not only tell you what gadget you have equipped currently, but the resources you have available for it. Pay attention because we'll be referring to this tracker multiple times. It's also important to know that at any given time while in the field, a Ghostbuster can return to the gear cart to replenish their supplies and change out whichever secondary gadget they currently have equipped. As you show greater proficiency in the field and advance in profile levels, you'll unlock newer gadgets available for your use. Let's start with the first one, the Vertical Ascension Device. The first secondary gadget you'll have access to is a Ghostbuster. The official Ghostbuster Field Equipment Manual describes it as a handheld pulley system that can be fired at designated vertical points to quickly pull you to higher heights. Brace your neck though, this thing has been known to cause some nasty whiplash. The VAD, patent pending, was invented by Dr. Edmund Chan with help from Dr. Raymond Stans to help us busters catch up to these speedy specters. By looking upwards toward a ledge above you, you'll see highlighted grapple points you can attach to. By pressing RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation, you can quickly grapple to the level above you. The VAD is a great piece of starting equipment that allows any member of the team to rapidly ascend a florist without having to run around looking for stairs or ledges to vault on to get where you need to go. Fun fact, unlike the other gadgets we'll discuss, the VAD power supply is provided by harmless radioactive isotopes, so you won't have to worry about battery life. Thanks, nuclear power! Wow, Chris, that pesky ghost won't stand a chance when I ascend with the VAD. Thanks. No problem, Greg. Just remember to sign the liability waiver before you're issued one. Any injuries that may be sustained while using a vertical ascension device are solely your responsibility and not the direct cause of Ghostbusters Incorporated, a limited liability corporation. So please, ascend responsibly. The VAD is not a toy. The ionizer pods are another important tool for any Ghostbusters arsenal, unlocked after reaching profile level 15. These handy grenades can help you slow a ghost down. By aiming with your targeting reticle and tapping RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation, you can throw and adhere one of these awesome orbs on any surface in range. But don't take my word alone for it. The official Ghostbusters training manual describes them as the small throwable ionizer pods quickly disperse a large cloud of ionization in its vicinity, shortly attaching to a surface on impact. Ghosts caught in this cloud are Ghost significantly slowed until they can escape its effect. The ionizer pods emit an aura of positively charged sulfur ions that slow the ghost down in its tracks, giving you a chance to catch up. Whilst inside the gas cloud of the ionizer pods, ghosts will be disabled from sprinting at all as well as have their movement speed reduced significantly. Remember, while possessing an object, a ghost is immune to the effects of the ionizer pods. Ionizer pods can also act as a deterrent, forcing the ghost into a location or direction to avoid the gas cloud. So remember to always be aware of your surroundings. Sometimes throwing an ionizer pod not directly at the ghost can be more beneficial in a haunt removal. It's also important to keep in mind that the ionizer pods come on a standard bandolier of three, meaning you can throw up to three pods before having to return to the gear cart and restock yourself. Those precious moments in a chase with a ghost can make the difference, so be sure to familiarize yourself with these putrid projectiles. Fun fact! The ionizer pods are harmless to humans, as its primary ingredient is just sulfur, so you won't need a mask when using them. 
Groovy. Stop. Before we continue, I should warn you about something extremely important before you use your ionizer pods. Always be sure to remember. or possibly even death. Remember, recruits, ABC, always be practicing safety protocols. The next tool in your arsenal as a profile level 20, the radar puck is a useful tool when you can't seem to track that persistent phantom down. The puck can close the gap. This battery-powered hybrid sonar device scans the area around it in quick burst, beeping when something spectral has been detected in its vicinity. If the ghost hits the detection field, the radar puck will provide specific feedback from the PKE signature. By looking at the surface you want to place it on, and tapping either RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation, you can deploy one. While active, it will ping the area around it, highlighting any ghost moving in the open with a red indicator to all Ghostbusters while ghost moving inside a possessed object and minions will be marked with a yellow caution marker to whomever the radar puck belongs to. It will not highlight any haunted objects or objects with rifts hidden inside them. Because of the EPA's rules governing the number of atomic powered devices a corporation can own within a certain mile radius, the radar puck has a battery you'll have to manage. You'll want to keep an eye out on your gadget tracker while using the radar puck as it is limited by its battery life when deployed. You can pick it back up by approaching it, then pressing and holding X on Xbox or Square on PlayStation. This will recharge the battery, allowing you to redeploy the radar puck as you need. But don't fret, Dr. Stant's patented fast recharge technology will fill up the radar puck's battery in seconds. Wow, that's fast. Fun fact, due to the unique signature of boron trifluoride in each PKE meter, Radar pucks must be synced to the individual buster. That means only the owner of the radar puck can see all of the entities it's able to reveal. Hey Chris. Hey Greg. Hey, have you seen any ecto trails anywhere? What? You know Ecto Trails, the PKE valences left by a ghost after it leaves or translutes it through an area? I have the Ecto Goggles equipped, but I can't seem to see them. Oh! The Ecto Goggles, unlocked at profile level 50. The Ghostbusters Operations Manual and Field Guide describes them as specifically tuned to reveal psychokinetic energy elements that are invisible to the naked eye, put on to see haunted objects, wall portals, extended ghost trails, hidden rifts, and objects the ghost is possessing when close enough. The Ecto Goggles are a useful tool that allow you to see not just what objects a ghost is currently possessing, but also objects they've hidden their rifts inside. Oh, here. As well as a ghost, wall portals, and Ecto Trails. Additionally, They'll mark the relative location of your teammates with a white dot. By pressing RB on Xbox and R1 on PlayStation, you'll activate your Ecto Goggles by pulling them down over your face. Similar to your Ghost Trap, the Ecto Goggles operate on a battery that will actively recharge when not in use, so be sure to keep an eye on your secondary gadget display. Fun fact! The current iteration of the Ecto Goggles is currently under field trials. That means you get to help with its implementation recruit. Don't forget to let our representatives at Ilphonic know how well it's working. Well, that concludes our training for the secondary gadgets. Remember, no one secondary gadget is the best. So feel free to experiment to find out which one fits your play style. Isn't that right, Chris? That's right, Greg. Not only is it important that you experiment, but having a good mix of equipment in your Ghostbusting crew can make the difference when you go up against those vexatious spooks. Please let your supervisor know that you finish the training tape. And remember to be kind and rewind. Until next time, we're the Northern California Ghostbusters and we're, we're ready, ready to believe you. you.